In this video, I'm going to be making a very simple candle using bacon fat. All you need is some bacon grease, a container, and a wick for your candle. We'll start by cooking up some bacon. After your bacon is cooked, you'll need to pour the grease into a container for storage. And it's a good idea to use a strainer so you're only storing the grease and not little chunks of meat. If you're cooking a lot of bacon all at once, you may have enough fat to make a candle right away. If you cook smaller batches, you'll have to store the fat until you have enough to make a candle. I like to store my bacon grease in a glass jar with a screw-on lid. I'm using a jar that my coffee came in. Once you have enough bacon grease, you'll need a container for your candle, and you'll need a wick. You can buy wicks that are made specifically for candle making, but you can also use a piece of cotton yarn or string, a piece of an old cotton t-shirt, or you could even twist up a piece of a paper towel. I'm going to be using a piece of jute twine for my wick. If you're using bacon grease that has solidified, you can warm it up in the microwave, and then it will be ready to pour into the jar you're using for your candle. Make sure your wick is long enough to reach the bottom of the container you're using, and leave some extra length at the top. With the extra bit of wick, you can tie it around a pencil and hang the wick down into the container. You can attach the wick any way you like, but I'm going to be using a clove hitch. Twist the twine away from you to form a loop. Do this again to form a second loop. Place the second loop in front of the first, and then you can slip your pencil through the two loops and then tighten it. Now you can cut off any excess if your wick is too long, and then place the pencil over the top of the container with the wick hanging more or less down in the center. Now you can pour your hot grease into the jar. It will take some time for the grease to cool and solidify. To make that go a little faster, you can put the jar into the refrigerator. Once the grease has solidified, your candle will be ready. You can trim the wick so it's a little closer to the fat, and then it will be ready to light. This candle has been sitting on the counter for hours, so it's at room temperature, which is currently 72 degrees Fahrenheit, and the fat is still in a solid state. Now I'm going to light it. It burns just like a regular candle. Also, there's really no smell. Burning this candle doesn't make your whole house smell like bacon. There's also no smoke. There will be some smoke when you blow it out, of course, just like any other candle. But I can't see any smoke while it's burning, so it's a very clean burning candle. If you have a lot of bacon grease, you could make a larger candle too, something the size of this coffee jar. But even in this smaller glass jar, I should get quite a bit of burn time. Two hours later. The candle has been burning for over two hours, and the level of oil in the jar has only dropped by about an eighth of an inch. This candle burns very clean and will burn for a very long time. When you are ready to put the candle out, you can just blow it out like you would with any other candle. Or, if your candle's jar has a lid, like this one, you can just put the lid on and starve it of oxygen.